Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you could just stop in real quick and take a peek at this video. It means the world to me. If you're new here, consider subscribing. There's content on this channel for literally everyone, but a lot of it is fragrance related. So if that's if that's your thing, hey, come on in, click the subscribe button, uh, and then give me a thumbs up. How about that? Anyway, so, uh, you know, Christmas time's coming up, the holidays are coming up, you know, there's all kinds of little gifts and stuff to be given and gotten and thrown away, all that good stuff. But uh, one thing I've noticed uh, over the past couple of years is I go into some of these, like, uh, you know, these big chain stores like Walmart, uh, even Kroger and Dollar General, and they have these gift boxes. They have this box set stuff, right? And they're priced relatively cheap. So that's what we're going to take a look at today. Okay? Just like the, uh, the uh, what was it called? The uh, Polo Club Beverly Hills set. We're looking at something pretty much identical. But this is from Dollar General. This is a $10 box. And it they literally slap a $10 sticker on there. And this is Stetson. So I'll be the first to tell you that uh, I've known about Stetson for a long time. I'm not too familiar with their fragrance, so this is completely new to me. So we're going to take a look at both of these, both the original and the black, which is something a little bit different than I do. I like to give them each their own little video. That way, you know, if you're looking for something in particular, uh, then you can find it. However, um, I figured that's not the best way to go, and I, I learned a little bit, especially when I did the polo, the, the polo club videos. I had to do four of them, and uh, I could have easily just done that in one video. So that's what we're doing. So let's take a look at the box. Uh, very strange looking. Uh, almost reminds me of like a briefcase. It's got the little uh, little leather straps and the metal pins. Very uh, odd. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. Uh, if you look on the back here, uh, both of these are 3.4 fluid ounce, 100 milliliter bottles. And uh, you can see here that it is, in fact, made in China. So, yeah, Scent Beauty. Scentbeauty.com. If you are looking for the Stetson gift set, go to Scentbeauty.com. Scent Beauty. You see that? Scentbeauty.com. Hit them up. I love these, like, very cheap websites. Whatever. Uh, since 1865, though, I mean, so that's it. That's something, you know, they've, they've been true to themselves. So, good for them. Uh, so, if you're interested at all, there is the ingredients list right here. If you want to pause the video, take a look at it, and decide if this is a product that you want to be spraying on you, Okay. Body fragrance, natural spray for him. And it says that on both of them. Uh, as you can see right here, body fragrance, natural spray for men. What is natural spray? Does it naturally spray you or is it naturally just spray that comes in a bottle? I don't, I don't understand that wording. Very dumb. But, but, you know what? Could be the best scent that I've ever smelled. Could be. And for, for $10, if it's the best scent I've ever smelled, that's a steal. That's an amazing deal. But yeah, looking at the back here, um, Stetson is a trademark of the John B. Stetson Company used under license by Scent Beauty LTD. So Stetson is a trademark of the John B. But here, here's the thing. I, I like this because there's already a mistake right here on the back. Uh, they didn't even bother to separate of and the right there. I don't know if you can make that right above my fingertip. Of the. I love I love finding stuff like that. That's how you know you got top quality, absolutely top quality products. Anyway. Without further ado, let's open this mother lover up and let's see what we got inside. Sound like a deal? Let's open her up. Let's crack this seal using these little scissors here. 
Perfect. Awesome. Good job, fellas. So, you know, here it is. We got this uh, super cheap packaging uh, in typical gift box set fashion. Uh, very easy. You know, here you go. Happy uh, graduation style. Or, hey, you're really starting to smell like shit and your room smells like ass. Here, have some of this. Just use it sparingly. Uh, so which one should I take a look at first? Uh, because it doesn't even matter. Because like I said, this is a very, very new uh, brand to me. So let's, I guess let's take a look. Well, you got to start at the original, right? So let's take a look at the original. Uh, anyway, I don't know where to put this crap. Okay, uh, I could have sworn, I could have sworn that this was going to be a glass bottle. But it's not. This is plastic, so I'm already fooled. Joke's on me. Don't know why I thought it would have been a glass bottle, but it isn't. It is plastic. And you have these nice, just absolutely ergonomical grips here, so that way when you're spraying the ever-living dickens out of your shirt, that uh, this shit just doesn't go yeet right out of your hand. So thank you, Stetson, for that. That's just a lovely touch here. So what you want to do is... Once you get this spray with the S on it, you'll want to take that cap off and uh, take a look at Okay, so if you actually look right here, uh, I don't know if you can make that out or not, but there's like hairs and fuzz and shit on there. Like, what the hell, dude? Why, why? I don't know if you can, can you see that? I don't know if you can make it out or not, but there's like hair and shit at the top. A little fuzz and stuff. Kind of gross, not gonna lie. So, uh, they have this type of uh, just manufactured, like mass produced style of like pump here. You see, at the bottom of it, I don't know if you can make it out, like right there is where they, they take a machine and they just, you know, smash it in there and it just goes and it's sealed. But yeah, so here we got this like, uh, you know, month old piss bottle color of, uh, you know, cologne or fragrance, I should say. So very, it reminds me of Obsession by Calvin Klein. And I'm sure that's going to be the, um, the inspiration, right? <sighs> Lord have mercy. Let's, let's, let's just do it. Get it over with. What do you just what do you say? Okay. Okay, so it's not the worst smell. Uh, I do kind of get the solid obsession vibes from Calvin Klein. It does remind me of that. It's definitely that like old man. Uh, or let me let me rephrase that. The older gentleman's uh, church fragrance that you know when you 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 have to go to church with grandpa and then you're just like drowning in their truck because uh, you know old grandpappy put on too much of his of his uh, you know seventy year old bottle of shit that is that his granddad used. So uh, it definitely has that night that you know that 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 vibe. So, uh, that, I would I would not classify this as a young man's fragrance. Um, I would not classify it as a sporty fragrance. I would not classify it as a sophisticated fragrance. I would literally, uh, I would classify this as uh, your granddad's cologne. So, uh, yeah. I mean, and like I said, it's it's not the worst. It's not the worst fragrance, but it's so far from being the best. <laughs> I'll, I'll say that. It almost smells a little bit medicinal with like baby powder and shit. Like, it smells like a powdery, like some 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 type of powder, like Gold Bond or something. I don't know. I don't know. Very odd. But like I said, it just that's the only thing I can smell when I smell this is is Grandpappy's cologne. Okay. So now 
now that we've taken a look at Stetson Original, let's take a look at uh, Stetson Black. And, uh, you know, here it is. Clear liquid, uh, like a, uh, you know, like a, like a normal cologne or some shit. But, uh, once again, plastic bottle. Super, uh, super ergonomical grips here for, you know, uh, recoil and, uh, so on and so forth. <laughs> you know what the bottle looks like. I'm not gonna keep going over it. <laughs> anyway. I'm not really getting... I'm not really getting too much from the studs and black smelling it uh, from the cap. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do the unthinkable. We're gonna have to spray the other arm. Okay. Mm-mm. Okay, now here we go. Now the Stetson Black. Alright, here's here's what I'll say about Oh, Mr. Stetson Black. So that definitely does have more of like the younger generation smell. A little bit more uh, citrusy. Uh, and it does have that typical uh, classic sporty kind of smell to it. Very open and uh, refreshing. Especially like 10 times, like a uh, super refreshing, like, you know... Right next to that Stetson original, it smells a little bit more modern, a little bit more uh, hip. Stetson Black uh, is actually not that bad of a fragrance. So, you know, if you buy both of these, you're talking about $5, $5 a bottle. So, uh, you know, if you were to buy this for $5 a bottle and, you know, all the ladies just commented... On that super sweet fragrance that you got on your bod, then uh, I'd say it's well worth it. I can kind of see that it's starting to kind of smell a little differently now that it's starting to dry up on my arm. But it still does hold um, pretty much right on through. Even dried up, it still kind of has that, that more sportyish smell. But you know what? Mm. Unfortunately, though, the smell's already starting to fade away. That's very unfortunate. It's it's still there, but it's very faint. So if you're gonna if you're gonna use this, I feel like you're gonna have to bathe in it, right? And uh, a lot of times, and of course, I just sprayed it on my skin, so that already affects it. Uh, you know, if you spray it on your clothes, it typically lasts longer. Uh, but, you know, I don't... I'm home. And I can wash this shit off my forearms. I'm not going to spray it on my clothes. But... Yeah, it, it smells... Uh, it smells a whole lot better than the Stetson original. Uh, but... It's definitely... Okay, let me put it this way. Uh, let's say that I'm at the right age. And uh, I'm looking at the colognes, which I I, don't, I haven't even been in a Rite Aid in a long time. I don't even know if they're still a thing. But, uh, you know, let's say you're in the Rite Aid and you're going through all the colognes. I would skip right over this 10 out of 10 times. And not even be upset about it. I did this for you all. Okay? I did this for you all so you wouldn't have to spend your money. Not that ten dollars would make or break you, unless it would. But uh, yeah, so this has been, uh, you know, the Stetson gift set edition, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. All in all, I think what we've learned is that uh, if you're trying to ball on a budget, I think I think you could get by. If, if you're somebody like me, who's a little bit more. Uh, more into like a sportier smells and more of like an open, refreshing, slightly citrus. Uh, I think you can get away with using the Stetson Black. Um, the Stetson Original, that's more for your old heads out there. Uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. Uh, I would, you know, if, if you do choose to use this, I feel like you're going to have to use a little bit more 
uh, than you normally would with the with the more higher quality type of fragrance. So uh, also keep that in mind because if you if that's the case, then this hundred ml isn't gonna last you a whole lot longer. Anyway. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. I love doing this shit. I love doing it. So if you enjoyed the video, please, for the love of God, you know, pay me. Pay me with one of these. This is currency on this channel, okay? Thank you guys very much. Uh, if you got any suggestions on a product I should take a look at, let me know in the comments below. I got one more of these videos that I'm trying to crank out sometime soon. So please, for the love of God, don't forget me. Click that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.